What's up guys, this is Schoolman5000 back for another action figure review. And today's probably the most random and ridiculous review I will ever do on this channel. I don't know why I bought this, but here we are. This is the McFarlane Toys Fortnite Healy Bone. And this just kind of came up in Walmart and something possessed me. And I bought this figure, the Peely Bone. He came very quickly from Walmart.com pretty much within a day. And here we are, and I figured, you know what? I made this impulse purchase. Let's do it on YouTube. Let's do a review of this figure. I only own one other figure from this line. We'll do that comparison later. But for now, you can see the box. Nice colors on here. You know, this will catch your eye in the store. I have seen a couple of these McFarlane Fortnite figures in the wild, but like I said, I only own one figure. That's this guy here, the army man. But you can see the rest of the wave, and then this big uh, dragon glider on the back here. Some artwork from the game. Barcode if these are something that you're hunting for. But let's go ahead, let's get this out of the way, and let's open up Peely Bone. And here is the Peely Bone out of the packaging. For his accessories, we'll start out with this gigantic figure stand. Big Huck that says Fortnite with the two foot pegs. Puts any other McFarlane stand to shame. And then he comes included with the back bling. This is a kind of survival pack, and he's got some bananas strapped in the front for emergency use only, I would imagine. Then he's included with a grenade launcher weapon and a bit of a shame with Fortnite because there's a lot of nice guns and accessories that you get, but they always look a bit too cartoony. I can't really imagine myself using this on anything other than a Fortnite figure. And then for his harvesting blade, we got a, a pickaxe here and then it's got kind of a skull tied on top of it with some nails, some wraps around the bone for the handle. I know each character has their own harvesting axe and I don't know that this one actually comes with the Peely bone in the game, but it's a nice piece. It is cool. And what we're left with here is the Peely bone. And there's a few reasons, I guess, why I would have bought this. I actually do have the Jazzwares Banana Man. So whatever it is about the Banana Man, when I see him, I buy him. And you know, something about that split down the middle, that duality, Two-Face is my favorite Batman character. So maybe something like that made me buy this. But enough justification. Let's go ahead and let's look at him while we have him on the studio here. So I guess you start over here. This is the standard Banana Man. If you have the original McFarlane figure, I'm sure this is mostly reuse. Only difference now being that he's got the brown kind of bruising on him or whatever you call that when a banana kind of ages. And then flipping him around here, this is the main event. You can see the brown inside and then coming out of that is the skeleton. So if you ever wanted to know the anatomy of a banana, here it is. And admittedly, and that's the reason I bought this, it's a cool design. This came out, I think, during like a Halloween update for the game. And I think at this point, there's a whole universe, a whole group of Banana Man in the game, but this is one of the cooler designs. So he's all bone here. I don't know what this bone shape is up here. It's like an extension of his head. Then the skull is right here. And then it's a bit human shaped as we get further down. I mean, this isn't really that far off from a regular skeleton. And then in here, we got some sort of a intestinal feature going on. It's a nice pink color to kind of make it separate from the rest of the figure. It's a new color in the mix. And then around that is some yellow. I don't know if that's just supposed to be the inner banana or if that's something else to do with anatomy that I'm not familiar with. But overall, it's a real nice sculpt, a real nice presentation. These McFarlane Fortnite figures, from what I've seen in the box and the other one figure that I have now with this one as well, it's a pretty nice little collection. Honestly, with Fortnite, a lot of times I see these figures and they're cool, but I can't really justify it a lot. But when it comes to things like this, I'll make that exception. This is a pretty interesting figure that I think, you know, is unique enough that it deserves a spot in the collection. Moving him to the back here, you can see some more details. For that skeleton, here's kind of a shoulder blade down here. All the, uh, the kneecaps and the elbows, they have this kind of triangle shape on them. You see that on the knee here. And then there's his spine going down the back. The hole back here, obviously, for the back bling. And you can see how that looks. It kind of floats off the back of the figure, but that's honestly how it looks in the game when you put on a backpack. Whenever I play it, I usually avoid using these because they kind of block your view. So overall, a very neat design and probably one of the most impulsive purchases I've ever made, but I'm not that mad about it and having it in hand. For his articulation, it's really just the limbs that you're looking at. This whole middle piece is one solid piece of the banana. And I cannot blame them for doing that. I mean, how do you break up a torso and a head on this figure when the whole body and the head is all just the banana piece? You could just put one big cut in the middle, I guess somewhere around the head here, but there's no way of getting around that seam line. So when you, what you're looking at here is what you get, a solid piece in the middle with some movable arms. But luckily when you get to the arms, they are very movable and because they're half skeleton, half normal, we actually have two different types of articulation to go over as opposed to usually when we do this, it's just one limb, it's one side of the figure. So for the banana side, we'll go with that first. 
shoulder goes up pretty far pretty decent range of motion and rotation bicep cut is there it's very tight but you can work that and it'll rotate all the way around double jointed elbow goes all the way the ball joint here at the wrist is something we've come used to on McFarlane toys if you have any of the other figures now when we get to the skeleton side you can see it's just on a regular ball joint for this bone so no shoulder swivel but this does have a pretty decent range of motion and again it's a matter of not breaking up the sculpt same thing with the elbow this is a single joint but honestly if you compare the two I mean obviously the double is better but not really by that much this still goes well past 90 degrees so I can't complain too much about it he's still going to be able to hold his weapons well and then probably the only real downside to this one is that there's no rotation really at the hand and then for the wrist we do have a hinge that only goes it doesn't actually go back but it goes forward that much and then the rotation is actually at the hand itself a bit hard to work with but it is usable back on the right side for the leg kicks out pretty decently far kind of weird little gap there when you do that double jointed knee is going to do everything you need it to it goes all the way back and then some on the banana back and then the same ball joint for the ankle and then a toe hint for the skeleton side similar to the arms a single joint here but look at that kick back he can do some serious martial arts on him single jointed knee goes back that far then a hinge at the foot and a very slight ankle rocker if any then finally the toe hinge is retained on the skeleton foot and overall that is going to do it for the peely bone so now let's go ahead i'm going to try to find as many figures i can compare this with as possible so let's take a look then we'll start him out with the jazz wears peely the regular version you can see he's a bit shorter this is a six inch scale figure but looking at the sculpt on both of them they're actually very similar this dude does not actually stand up the best as you just saw but Again, back to the sculpting, they both capture the stylization of the character pretty well. And this was a great figure. It comes with different face plates, a bunch of different weapons. The Jazzwares figures do have their own kind of uniqueness and specialty to them. The McFarlane's are just going to be a bit better sculpted, but maybe slightly more limited and in that larger scale. Also worth noting that this guy came with the exact same back bling. And you can see this one's got more paint, but it actually didn't paint the strap across these this was left yellow on the final McFarlane figure. And then here he is with my only other McFarlane Fortnite figure, that is the Plastic Patroller, or more simply, the Green Army Man. And now that I have this Peely, I guess I have a little collection, but I can't see myself going that much farther with these McFarlane Fortnite figures. And then he's still on the desk from when I reviewed this two-pack, so let's throw in Thanos. He was, of course, a big part of Fortnite a couple years ago. When one of those Avengers movies came out, there was this whole game mode where you'd rush to get the Infinity Gauntlet and you turn into Thanos. That was actually pretty fun. And then finally, I wanted to show him with the bread and butter, the DC multiverse, Superman, Action Comics, Detective Comics, Batman. Both of these two are playable in Fortnite and the looks of the characters are pretty close enough to this. So if you wanted to add these DC figures to your Fortnite collection, these are gonna work pretty well. And overall, that is gonna do it for the Peely Bone Fortnite McFarlane figure review, whatever you want to call them. And I had a lot more fun with this than I anticipated. A great figure. I don't know how many more Fortnite figures I'll be picking up anytime soon. Maybe I'll go ahead and pick up the other Banana Man figures I'm missing and I'll have that little weird collection. But otherwise, I'm happy with this. A cool impulse purchase. If you see him in Walmart or online, I'd say I recommend it. But I guess it's not going to be for everybody. If you like McFarlane toys, I got plenty of that on the channel Mortal Kombat. DC multiverse, spawn figures, and everything in between. So if you like that, make sure you stay tuned to the channel and subscribe. I'll be posting some pictures of this guy along with my library of figure photography over on Instagram, scoopman underscore 5000. But that is going to do it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next action figure review.